Hey, what's up everybody? This is Kaching Song, Autodesk Fusion Community Manager. And out of all the videos and reels we've shared this year on our Fusion Instagram account, here are the top five most watched quick tip reels by you. The Alt key is the single most important key you need to know when using the Edit Form tool, and I'm here to tell you why. When you're working with T-spine bodies, using the Edit Form tool lets you manipulate faces, edges, and vertices. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Pressing and holding down the Alt key will not only change what's been selected, but it will also create additional geometry. And in this case, it creates faces, allowing you to build on top of your existing body. Combined with other useful form tools, this opens up all kinds of possibilities for conceptualizing a design, by starting with a simple primitive T-spline body to ending up with a pretty complex T-spline model. Here's an easy way you can dimension circles from edge to edge instead of center point to center point in Fusion. Sometimes when you are dimensioning the distance between two circles, you'll want to know the minimum distance instead of the center to center distance. But if you invoke the dimension tool, hold down the control key on your keyboard, and then click on the circle while the dimension tool is active, you'll see a little menu appear at the bottom of your cursor, showing pick circle slash arc center as checked. Simply change it to pick circle slash arc tangent option, and now you'll be able to dimension your circle sketches from edge to edge. It's that easy. Swarf machining, commonly seen as a five-axis process, can also be applied to three-axis machines for shapes like a vertical wall with an irregular floor. Autodesk Fusion's Advanced Swarf Toolpath, available in the manufacturing extension, can be limited to three-axis motion, enabling efficient swarf-style toolpaths on three-axis CNC machines. This flexibility enhances the versatility and efficiency of your machining processes. Fusion's Named Views feature is so underrated, and I'm going to tell you why. Within the browser, there is a folder called Named Views. The default views are Top, Front, Right, and Home, the same views as the ones you see on your view cube. But did you know that you can also create your own custom views by first setting it up in the canvas and getting your view to look just right, then going over to the Named Views folder, right-click, and select New Named View. Give this view a good name so you remember what it is, and now when you click on that view, the camera will go right to where the view was saved to. You can get pretty creative with it and set up an entire design walkthrough with your team or clients just with named views. The most important thing to know about how to window select objects in Fusion is direction. Let me explain. Window selection behaves differently if you select from upper left to lower right versus lower right to upper left. When you window select from upper left to lower right, only geometry that is completely enclosed in your selection window will be selected. If you pair this with a selection filter, you can get really surgical with your selections. When you window select from lower right to upper left, everything the selection window touches or includes will be selected. Use this to select a bunch of objects all in one fell swoop. You'll be able to move much quicker because now you know that. As we head into the holidays and on behalf of the Fusion community team, as well as everyone here on the Fusion team, i like to thank you for sharing all your incredible projects and tagging us along the way. Happy holidays and have a safe and joyful new year.